Two reasons Jehovah's Witnesses believe Jesus is Michael the Archangel. Reason 1. Jesus is an angel, a messenger. Most Trinitarians and possibly Binitarians will agree Jesus is called an angel in the Bible, but they will say it is a descriptive title only. They deny he is an angel, a created being. The same way the Bible calls Jesus the Son of God, to them it is a descriptive title only. He is not actually a son, a created being. Of course, Jehovah's Witnesses emphatically disagree. God is first cause, so whether descriptive, figurative, or spiritual, anyone called a son of God was created by God. And yes, Jesus is referred to as the salt of the earth. No, Jehovah's Witnesses do not believe Jesus is salt. A scripture often used to disprove Jesus is an angel is Hebrews 1.5. To which one of the angels did God ever say, You are my son, today I have become your father? Is Hebrews saying angels are not God's sons? God is not their father? If God is not their father, who is? Jehovah's Witnesses believe Jesus is superior to the angels in authority and position in power but not in nature. Thus, he has a name more excellent than theirs. Reason 2. From Scripture they conclude he is an angel of very high caliber in heaven, the Archangel Michael. Here are four facts Jehovah's Witnesses use to back up their assertion. 1. Michael the Archangel, chief angel, is the highest angel in heaven. He stands alone. He does not belong to any group of angels. Michael is the only archangel in heaven, because he is referred to as the archangel, which suggests there is only one. For example, the Holy Spirit, one Holy Spirit, the only begotten Son of God, one uniquely begotten Son of God, the devil, one chief slanderer, the Christ, one Messiah, the archangel, one archangel. Also, the term archangel is never found in the plural form in the Bible. 2. Daniel 10.13 does not speak of more than one archangel, chief angel. Daniel speaks of Michael as one of the chief foremost princes, rulers. Or a prince ruler of the first rank who came to the aid of a lesser prince ruler. There are many royal rulers, princes in heaven, and many angels, messengers, but only one archangel, chief angel. 3. A comparison between Michael, the archangel, and Jesus. Michael and his angels battle with the dragon and his angels, Revelation 12.7. Jesus and his angels battle with the dragon and his angels, Revelation 19.14-16. Michael is the great prince, leader of Israel, Daniel 10.21. Jesus is the great prince, leader of Israel, Matthew 23.10. Michael intercedes for God's people, Daniel 12.1. Jesus intercedes for God's people, Romans 8.34, 1 Timothy 2.5. Michael speaks with an archangel's voice, Jude 9. Jesus will descend from heaven with the archangel's voice. 1 Thessalonians 4.16 Michael said to Satan at Jude 9, May Jehovah rebuke you. Jesus, angel of the Lord, said to Satan at Zechariah 3.2, May Jehovah rebuke you, O Satan. 4. Hebrews 1.6 does not prove Jesus is not an angel. And again, when God brings His firstborn into the world, He says, Let all God's angels worship Him. The word worship was wrongly inserted into that scripture. Why? Because God would never allow His angels to worship anyone. God is jealous over His worship. He will not share His glory with another, not even with Jesus, His Son. Jesus said, My Father is greater than I. After his ascension into heaven, the Bible says the head of the Christ is God. Worship is to be given to God alone. The proper rendering of Hebrews 1.6 or any other scripture where Trinitarian apologists falsely add the word worship is, let God's angels bow before him, or let all of God's angels do obeisance to him. 
True Christians direct worship to Jehovah God through Jesus His Son. Worship directed to Christ Jesus, less commonly known by His angelic name, Michael, is sin.